posture required in the Aikido Jo exercises is an oblique stance, which is assumed in a manner of one's natural walk coming to a halt. Compared with Ken, Jo has much more multifaceted uses in its implementation. Look at these one-man jaw movements. There are numerous patterns in thrusting exercises. Here we have chosen five patterns. They are practiced slowly at first. Rapid execution follows next. The multifaceted feature of jaw in comparison with Ken has resulted from the fact that jaw has no upper or lower part as such, has no blade, and any portion of the one uniform piece can be used to tactical advantage. What is important in jaw training is the grip. Jaw must be gripped as if you are wringing a towel, as is the case with Ken, at the time of thrusting and striking. The quickest manipulation of jaw is possible if you find yourself holding its center at the time of turning jaw for the next move. This is called using jaw at half its size, mastery of which requires a lot of thinking and practice. Once you get used to such way of jaw manipulation, your striking speed with Ken will also gain momentum. You are thus not only gaining speed in the handling of jaw, but also beginning to feel that a long stave is totally a part of yourself, like your hands and feet. Katate gedan gaeshi. Draw the jaw fully to the rear. Take a large step forward with your right foot and sweep from below to up over the head. Toma katate uchi. This technique is used when it is necessary to strike the opponent at a great distance. Katate hachi no ji gaeshi. This strike is shaped like the number eight. Its purpose is to limber your wrists in training. Hasso gaeshi uchi. Turn the jaw, assume hasso no kamae, and then strike your opponent's face. Hasso gaeshi zuki. From Hasso no Kamae, thrust to the front. Hasso Gaeshi, Ushiro Zuki. From Hasso no Kamae, thrust to the rear. Hasso Gaeshi, Ushiro Uchi. From Hasso no Kamae, turn your hips and strike to the rear. Don't move your feet. Hasso Gaeshi, Ushiro Barai. From Hasso no Kamae, turn your body and take a large sweeping step with the right foot. Make a sweeping strike. Hidari Nagare Gaeshi Uchi. Turn to the left and strike. This is an exercise for improving body movement.
Migi nagare gaeshi zuki. Turn to the right and thrust. This is also an exercise for improving body movement. Jū san no jō, or 13 forms of jō exercise, is the so-called quick flailing series, which feature the quickest possible delivery of blows to the front as well as to the rear. Aikido Jō art may be described as a training method whereby the trainee, although holding Jō in his hand, becomes free from a sense of holding one and develops a frame of mind transcending earthly concerns. being introduced here have been constructed on the basis of Sanju Ichino Jo, bequeathed by old master Morihei Ueshiba, founder of Aikido. Kumijo is linked up with Taijutsu, as is Ken. Seven successive demonstrations of Kumijo. First kumijo, move to the right hammi and strike at the opponent's head. Second kumijo, move your body to the right and block his low strike and strike at the opponent's head. Third kumijo, move to the left and thrust at the opponent's side. Fourth kumijo, step forward with the right foot and thrust at the pit of the opponent's stomach. Fifth kumijo, during your defense, adopt the hitoemi posture and thrust at the opponent's throat. Sixth Kumijo, as he raises that jaw to strike, move in with his motion, turn and throw him by controlling over both of his arms. Seventh Kumijo, step on the opponent's left foot, extend your jaw against his arms and fall him down. In case your opponent tries to strike you with Ken, you must deal with it with a full knowledge of the uses of Ken. Aikido body movements are supposed to be easy and relaxed, since they are based on natural walking. Switching to and from right or left oblique stance tends to delay, but the movement will gradually pick up speed if you twist your hips fully and freely.
Jiu manipulation is so akin to Taijutsu that its own identity can gradually be phased out to merge into a wholly integrated Aikido system incorporating Ken, Jo and Taijutsu. Aikido body movements are structured in such a way that these three vital elements are integrated into one entity without conflicting with each other. These Jodori techniques are coupled with their Aikido Taijutsu counterparts. They have no names to identify, so you have no other recourse but to learn these techniques by experience in the course of your training. The many techniques we have witnessed here have been developed basically from Sanju Ichino Jo, or 31 forms of Jo exercise. So finally, let's practice Sanju Ichino Jo. These forms have pieced together in succession a wide variety of Jo techniques. They are numbered for easier memory and performance. Counting each form, therefore, has little relevance to abdominal breathing. Segmenting the series for detailed training is worth trying. This 31 form Jo exercise has been bequeathed by old master Morihei Ueshiba, founder of Aikido. Aikido techniques know of no bounds with their unlimited potential. Those techniques incorporating natural movements and their derivatives are destined to form a sphere which will keep rolling for an indefinite period of time. <laughs> 